Intertake upon you. It was but not you who chose me, says the Lord. But I have chosen you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, through my, through my fault, through my fault, through my own grievous fault. Therefore, I ask. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in, in, in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in, in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the, in the, in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell, dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied, accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the, from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justin Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take a place, take a place in this apostolic ministry. 
from which Judas turned away to go to his own, own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot, and the, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will give him a seat with the, with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise the servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising of the from the rising to the setting of the sun, in the name of, of the Lord to be is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord; above the heavens is His glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of His people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the, the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dung he, he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own, own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Hallelujah. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias. He is the patron saint of, I think, I don't know if it's gamblers, but dice games. Um, because he, they cast lots. And uh, one of my professors in seminary, we had an oral exam and there'd be a list of questions and he, you'd go in there and he'd roll the dice and that determined what answers you had to, to, to answer, questions you had to answer. And he always say, did you pray to St. Matthias? <laughs> but today I, I want to speak on actually the gospel, the very beautiful and, and, and vastly quoted, no one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. It's a beautiful scripture passage. 
you know, and, and it's very clear, you know, that, that it identifies that sacrificial love, that highest form of love, as, as you would say, agape, which is the Greek, for that willingness to lay down their life. But there is sometimes I am, there is a romanticization of that. That we're like, yes, I would lay down my life for you, but I'm not going to take out the garbage. <laughs> you know? And, and the recognition of that, that laying down your life is not just literally giving your life. It's inconveniencing yourself or allowing yourself to be inconvenienced for the good of another. You know, think about that. You know, a parent gets up in the middle of the night to console a crying child. They're not dying, <laughs> but they're inconveniencing themselves because they know that that inconvenience will benefit this other person. I think of the precautions that we're doing. You know, they're inconvenient, but the mentality we have, this mentality that I have, the Mount Tyler Bishop has, and I know that many of you share this. We're willing to do them, we're willing to be inconvenienced because there's a chance and we are desiring to protect those who may or you know may to protect and to eliminate any possibility of someone getting hurt, someone getting sick. You know, because you never know, you never know when it comes to disease, when it comes to sickness. These are just all little examples of laying down in your life for the love of another. And there's no greater love than that. One of the benefits and the fruits of that is joy. It says, I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy may be complete. That God is the source of our joy. There's a reason why when you help somebody, when you go out of your way to do something that benefits another person, whether you know that person or not, you get that feeling of, oh wow, that, was, that feels really good. I'm grateful, I'm glad I did that, I feel better. You're tapping into the love of God and therefore tapping into the joy that comes with living a life in conformity with God's love. That's how you remain in God's love. That's how you follow His commandments. His commandments is to love one another. Love God and neighbor. And so, to look for those opportunities every day to lay down your life in the smallest of ways, whether they're with people that you live with, people that you encounter, people that you, you know, may never ever see again, but to, to open yourselves up to those little moments that ultimately train you for the big moments to lay down your life. So that in each of those moments we may experience the fruits of that love which is joy. Joy rooted in the love of God. Let us stand together and offer our prayers to the sisters of our Father. The Pope Francis, Bishop Kimmy, all the bishops, priests, and deacons, that we may be examples of laying down our lives for the love of others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our 
political leaders that they will enact laws and policies in conformity with truth, justice, and for the common good. We pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer for all of the sick and the suffering, that they may find healing and strength and peace in the midst of their sickness. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who are, are dying or are soon to die or have just died, that they may, their families may find consolation and strength in the Lord and those, and, and uh, that we pray for peaceful, for peaceful repose of those who have died and will die. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all of our first responders, our doctors, nurses, medical professionals, all those who care for the sick and the elderly, they may find strength and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the intention of this Mass and for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we offer you these petitions. We ask that in your love you may grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the, the wine God. For the body and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
your sacrifice and the offering to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Save us.
behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but I will say the word that my soul shall be healed. This is my command. Love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Solidarity with my brothers and sisters in Christ who cannot be with us here at this time. We pray our scripture for you for my Jesus. I believe that you are present. Soul of Christ, Amen. body of Christ, Amen. blood of Christ, be created me, water of the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, hear me, put in your rooms and time me, stop me not to be separated from me, from the Lord and the enemy and the enemy, in the hour of my death, all the people did become to you, that with your sins I may praise you.
Let's pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias, Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the, of the saints in life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down to the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious, glorious merits of the Apostle Matthias. Amen. Amen. And may he, who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostles, make you, under their protection, witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the Apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland by for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. For the protection of our families, our parishes, our church, country, and world. We pray. St. Michael the Archbishop.